Hey everyone, this is the second part in the Rubik's Cube tutorial, in the 4x4 Rubik's Cube tutorial series. In uh, this video, in this video we are going to learn how to solve the centers, which is the first step in solving the 4x4. Alright, so, why do I always say alright? It's not alright. Nothing's alright. Anyway, so... Basically, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be solving all the centers so that they're little groups of one color like this. They also all have to be in the right place. So, I just did one there, but I'm going to mix it. Uh, I just lubricated my methods, and I'm not sure. So, sure, I'm starting to wish I hadn't. Anyway, so, what we're first going to be doing is we're going to be solving the centers one at a time. So, we are just first, what we're going to do is we're going to solve one center. First one, it's really easy. Uh, we're we're going to first make two little two by one pairs like this. I prefer to solve the black first, but really doesn't matter. So just make little two by one pairs like this. Uh, let me just give you a few tips on this because uh, there's no algorithms for solving the centers. So uh, first of all, like if you see these two right here that can be moved together like this you do it except you've already got a two by one pair here and if you were to pair those up you'd be mess messing this up so what you're going to do is you're just going to simply move it out of the way right get it out of the slice that you're trying to move you're trying to move this slice you want to get it out of there and you just move that slice back down then to all right and then uh So I'll just, like, if you go to, like, you see these two here, and you go to pair them up, but you can't, that problem can be fixed really simply. You just move it back up here and just, uh, you see this is at the top here, so you want to move this at the top as well, like that. Then you can pair them up. And then, I see, like, these two here, I want to pair them up, but I can't, so I would just get this over here then move this way, then this, this wedge up here and after that once you have your two by two two by one pairs you can simply just connect them like that right if they're like this just get this one out of the way and pair them up so you have one center fairly simple right with a bit of practice you'll get better you might not get it at first but you will trust me so then after that, we're going to want to solve the yellow center. All right? This is the center opposite to the black. All right, very important. You have to solve the one opposite to black first, which is yellow, or in your case, white, if you have a black cube. So uh, what you're going to do, this is a t tip to it, trick to it. This, you're also going to be making little two-by-one pairs, uh, except if you were to, like, move this up here, join those two, you'd be messing up the black. So what you're going to do is, once you pair them up, you're going to get these out of the way and move this wedge back down. So that you don't mix up your pretty white or black there. I'm just going to call it white because chances are you have a black cube. So then, what you're going to do is, I can just pair those up like that. So basically what you do is, you, uh, is like, if you have this one here, you would just once you pair it out, you just get it out of the way and move whichever wedge you moved back and to undo the move that you just did so you don't mix up this black or white. And then uh, once you have two two by one pairs, what you're going to do is uh, if you have one in the top layer already, uh, we've already made this black center, which makes that automatically our bottom, or the white. The white is automatically our bottom. Uh, you're just going to make sure these are in the same wedge here. So that when you move them up, they replace, like one replaces the other. Then you just do a U2 move, and then move that wedge back down so they're paired up. I'll just do that again, in case you didn't see. So once you have your two pairs there, you're just going to line them up like that. Place this one with this one. U2 move, move it back down. Now once we have two, the black and yellow centers solved opposite to each other, we're going to solve these middle uh, centers. So, 
this is easy once again you're just gonna make two two by one pairs however there's a trick to this right you're just gonna try and find the color that has the most two by one pairs already made so I see blue is pretty good it has one made here so uh, thing is like I see these two I would move this one over here so I can move this one up but I can't cuz I messed up this so I'm just gonna have to move this out of the way and move this up here like so it's really easy and then once you have that you can just get these into different slices and move them down like that now once you get down to three uh, get starts to get tricky right so it doesn't matter where the centers are yet so I see like these two here if you have two like this just get them in just get one of those centers into an area that is unsolved do this then move them back down then what you can do is you can uh, now like once you've got one center here you're gonna have to solve the rest the uh, second middle center or the fourth center the same way you solve the yellow center here you're gonna have to get this replace it with this do U2 and then move this back up so you don't mix up this but you solve this then once you have the last two you're just gonna if you have already if they're all uh, two by one pairs like this you can just uh, line them up just uh, replace one with the other U2 move back down and they'll both automatically solve however if you have a case like this where you have little three groups like this what you'll have to do is you'll have to just uh, fiddle with it a bit so uh, what I mean by that is like you wanna get two by one like this so this wants to go down here then you would get this out of the way and move this group of two back up so now it's solved and uh, using your common sense and watching this video over and over again you should be able to figure out how to solve the centers yourself. It may take a while, but trust me, you'll get it. Now, however, you're not done the centers yet. So what we need to do now is we need to get the centers in the right places. How you know if the centers are in the right places is you would look at a Rubik's Cube, and uh, you would see. Now, opposite to white is yellow. Opposite to white is yellow. We did that for the first two centers. Now, blue is my front. Go into the left. Oh, here I have orange. Now, so I have to find the red. The red's here, and I need to replace the red with the orange. So how would I would do that? So I would move this one, just move a slice to get a two by one red pair up here. U2, then move it back down. Then do the other slice, move that red, replace it with that red, U2, then move it back down. And the red will have been replaced by the orange. Or the orange will have been replaced by the red. So now back again with yellow on the top, blue on the front, blue, yep, red, yep, yep, and yep, there you go. Now you have to be absolutely certain that the centers are all in the right places. Another way to tell is just look at a corner and uh, just go clockwise like this, uh, black, or white, white center, red, red center, green, green center. And then opposite to red is orange, opposite to green is blue, and opposite to white is yellow. Uh, that's how you solve the centers. Watch the next video uh, for the rest of the tutorials. <laughs> and uh, please let me know how I did, because I'm, I'm still kind of curious as to how well I do tutorials. Uh, seeing if I should keep making them or if they just piss people off. So, yeah, please rate and subscribe. Now to move on to the next video, click on the piece of Lego. Alright, this video is ending soon, so you better click the Lego.